What is going on guys? You know what to do with that BC Boy Zero 2. Coming at you guys with a video today. In this video, um I'm I'm this is not my thoughts on WrestleMania because um first of all I just want to say that I thought WrestleMania was a amazing great show. But that's besides the point. You guys you guys all know what happened at WrestleMania. Um, I don't gotta explain anything to you because e e if you don't have a WWE Network or you didn't see it on pay-per-view, you already know the results by now, unless you've been living under a rock. Anyways, that's besides the point. The point of this video is me telling you guys that this could be a great era in wrestling. This is WWE's chance to turn it right around. WWE, you know, they haven't been like... It hasn't been as exciting as it used to be as of late and stuff like that. But you know what? This can be like um, a new start for WWE going into Extreme Rules and then on after WrestleMania happened. Every single match on WrestleMania was like amazing. Like there was no bad part of WrestleMania. I think every single outcome was good, honestly. I liked every single outcome of everything. Um, I liked every single match. Every match was great. Even the Divas match, that was really good. Um, Brock and Roman was better than I expected. I enjoyed Roman getting beat up a lot. The match wasn't as good as I... Like, it was good, but it wasn't as like amazing as I expected it to be. It didn't steal a show, in my opinion. But it was still really good. And my favorite match of the night had to be either uh, Randy and Seth or Cena and uh, Rusev. First of all, the Randy and Seth, uh, that RKO into the, the curb style into the RKO, Randy, I don't know how Seth got that high in the air when he hit that RKO, but, um, and then Cena hit a springboard stunner on Rusev, and I was really, really surprised to see that. I really like seeing that. I don't know why I just enjoyed it a lot. And you guys, the boy, the boy, Seth Rollins cashed in his money in the bank contract. The first person to cash in at WrestleMania. The first person to cash in during a match. And the first person to cash in making it a triple threat match. And the first person to hold the NXT title and the WWE title. Four major milestones in one night. Seth Rollins did it. He made it. The boy. I told you guys. This man is the future of this business. But right, he's still the future. But right now, Seth Rollins is the present. He is the now. Okay, okay, all right, but um, anyways, this could be a great era in wrestling. A lot of you guys are complaining because of, well, John Cena is the United States mid card champion. Why are you complaining that John Cena is the United States champion? You guys wanted him out of the title picture, right? And I, I didn't want him out of the main title picture. John Cena for WWE champ, always 24-7. Anyways, um, really. Um, you guys want him out of the main title picture, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's stepping down to give guys like Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins a chance to step up. Step up or step aside, bruh. And Daniel Bryan is the IC champion. The Intercontinental champion. Do you see what WWE is doing here? They are making mid um, main eventers in the mid-card spot and giving them the mid-card title. You know why? It's because they're giving them the mid-card a wake-up call. They're making John Cena and Daniel Bryan are going to put on amazing matches every single week with whoever they face as the mid-card champions. But let me tell you something. They're doing this to help the mid-carders step up, to make the mid-carders better. And once they know that someone is ready, they'll drop the title to them. But that's what they're doing. They're helping the make artists step up both John Cena and Daniel Bryan. And another thing that happened yesterday, the boy, Seth Rollins, was going to face Brock Lesnar. But guess what? He escaped. 
he got away. And let me tell you one thing, Seth Rollins looks amazing with that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And another thing, wait, and another thing. In the middle of Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns match at the beginning, Roman Reigns was fighting like a girl. He scratched Brock Lesnar, he, he was just like scratching Brock Lesnar in the face. He's fighting like a girl. Like, what is he doing? Anyways, um, another thing that happened, I'm just talking about things that happened th this week, WrestleMania and yesterday, Monday Night Raw. Adrian Neville from NXT made his debut. Well, the name didn't make the trip with him. His name is now Neville. Like, I know this, this shouldn't be a big thing, but I know it shouldn't be a big thing because, like, he's still the same person. He's aging, and now he's a great driver, blah, blah, blah. But, like, a name really does, like, make the person. Like, you can still be a good wrestler, but, like, the name, that's what you know a person by. I've been watching Adrian Neville, like, on NXT for a while now, and Adrian Neville is what I'm used to. Not Neville. Like, what's with WWE and first names? Oh, we're taking away Cesaro's name, Antonio Cesaro, because Cesaro sounds, Antonio Cesaro sounds weak. What in the world is that? What in the world is that, man? Eight and Biggie, they blew it with Biggie Langston. Biggie Langston was cool. Big E is just dumb. Big E is dumb. Now they're making his name Neville. Please, please, please change it back. Please, please, please change it back. And that crowd last night at Raw, they were like, I don't know. They were annoying at times because a lot, of, they were just chanting the NXT guy's name like the whole time in a main event, even in Seth Rollins' match. Look, let me tell you something, bro. Look, I'll chant NXT if an NXT guy's about to come out or an NXT guy is wrestling. But if you're chanting NXT so bad, don't come. To Monday Night Raw. Buy a ticket to NXT. If Monday Night Raw sucks so bad and you like NXT better, don't come to Monday Night Raw. Buy a ticket to NXT. You are in the wrong place. I'm telling you right now. You're in the wrong place if you're chanting NXT. If NXT guys not wrestling, this is the main event, man. I understand, like, you don't like Roman Reigns or whoever's in the ring, but just don't, like, just boo them. Like, you don't gotta chant another wrestler's name. Jeez, that's, it's just as annoying as CM Punk chants, honestly. It really is. Um, so yeah, guys, um, th 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 that was just my point of this video, me talking about what happened yesterday, Monday Night Raw, highlights, and, uh, what happened, some things my thoughts on WrestleMania. Um, but, um, yeah, this could be a great era in wrestling. John Cena, U.S. champ. Daniel Bryan is a continental champ. Seth Rollins, WWE champ. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, the tag team champs. Oh, yeah, by the way, Kalisto and Sin Cara debuted yesterday, too. And Nikki Bella, the Divas champ. This could be a great era in wrestling. This could be, like, um, 2011, 2012 all over again. We had CM Punk as champ, Daniel Bryan as World Heavyweight Champ, uh, Kofi Kingston, Evan Bourne as the uh, tag champ, um, Cody Rhodes as the Intercontinental Champ, and Beth Phoenix as champ also. That that was a great era in wrestling, and I think this is kind of the same thing. This could be like another amazing era in wrestling, and this could be. WWE's chance to bounce back in a big way. So don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and till tomorrow, you know what to do. Tell you every time, tell you every video. Stay beastly. <gasps>